Hi there, this is Marty, and thanks for stopping by today as we take a look at the Daniel Smith watercolor portable set here. This is, uh, Daniel Smith has released a whole line of new portable sets with different color combinations in them. This one happens to be the floral set. It comes with six colors. I'll talk about that in a minute, but here you can see I'm struggling to get the new plastic case open. I tipped the case and all of the pans just fell right out with the exception of those two right there. Then you can you can hear the pans rattle around in this plastic case. More on the case later, but first I want to get to the, the colors themselves that are included in this particular floral set. So let's discuss the paints that come in this particular floral set. You get thalo blue, a really nice cad yellow, and I love the quinacridone gold and rose, really good colors. Cascade Green and the Green Apple, which are nice colors as well. I figured with summer coming, I wanted to uh, add some of these colors to my palette, and um, they do not disappoint. Here I'll swatch the colors out for you, and you can see how, how vibrant and bright and really transparent these colors are. They're really great, great paints. I love Daniel Smith paints. I think they come in second place for me, right behind Schmenka paints as my all-time favorite paints, and I just love using them. This quinacridone color right here, this gold, it has such a wide range of color, almost from like a brownish earth color all the way to the, to the yellowish gold hues that you want to get. It's just really, really outstanding paint. I can't say enough good things about Daniel Smith paint. I love you guys over at Daniel Smith. You're doing a great job making paint. You're not doing such a great job on the home for the paints. This portable plastic uh, kit that you manufactured is, in a word, horrible. Um, and, and I don't often give very critical reviews. Uh, I'm not overly critical about stuff. And, and part of it is my anticipation and my eagerness to get it and just being disappointed at the quality, the lack of use, utility in it. I mean, if you fold over... The front, uh, the front of the thing to try to, you know, separate your paints. There's no way to do that. It's just like one big flat area, and it, so that's not really serviceable at all. And then when you open it, the the pans fall out. And then when you put it in your suitcase, bag, kit, purse, whatever, the pans are going to rattle around. It just, it doesn't make any sense not to put such great paints in a much better home. I would say Daniel Smith needs to go back to the drawing board with respect to, to, the, to the kit here. And, and, and maybe, you know, I'd be willing to pay a little bit more if it was a metallic uh, or tin enameled uh, case for these paints. I think you, Daniel Smith makes great paints. They make good enough paints to, to really put them in a, in, in a respectable kit. And this just seems like it was rushed to market, poorly designed, and really didn't, uh, it wasn't thoughtful enough. It, was, it's not, it doesn't have a lot of utility for me. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to take the Daniel Smith pans out and put them in my Schmincke tin because I love the paints so much. I want to use them, but I, I just can't bring myself to use this crazy portable plastic uh, kit that the paints come in. They just it just doesn't work. So I, I yeah they, they come in a variety of different sets right here. Six different sets: ultimate mixing blues, earth, sketcher, floral, like I have, and then colors of inspiration. Check them out on the Daniel Smith website or pop over to Wet Paint. Um, I think they can either they either have these sets or they can order them for you. And I would just say Daniel Smith, please go back to the drawing board on the on the case, please. Um, I know Core listened to, listened to us uh, and when we gave them advice on, on how to improve their tin, and I think they hit a home run with their second iteration. So um, I'm just hoping you guys go back to the design board and, and figure out a better uh, tin to put these in. Again, I'd be happy to pay the extra cost, whether that was $20, $25, $30 $30 even, for a nice metallic uh, metal tin with some mixing area, and, and something that the, the pans are going to stay fixed in and not rattle around or fall out. I love your paints, Daniel Smith. Please, please, please make a better home for them.
I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on this uh, kit. If you get a chance, drop me a line down in the comment section. Hey guys, if any of you are into the outdoors like I am, I recently came across a great channel, a wonderful guy, a resource for everything outdoors. His name is Michael. He runs this uh, YouTube site called The Emporium Outdoors, and this guy is a fascinating guy to watch his videos, uh, learn about outdoor camping, survival in the outdoors. He lives up in Alberta, Canada. He does a lot of wintertime camping, probably because it's winter in Canada for nine months out of the year like it is in my home state in Minnesota. But he's just got a wealth of knowledge on different types of equipment, tents, sleeping bags, uh, vehicles, hatchets, chainsaws, uh, whatever you can think of, um, fire starting equipment, all that stuff. And he goes out in the bush, him and his dog Esme, and they just have a great time. There's Michael there. Great guy. Him and I have exchanged some emails, um, and I encourage you to go over and check out his channel. Be sure to tell him I sent you over there. I'd like to give him a viewer boost. So if you have a chance, just go over there, subscribe to the channel, uh, check out a video too. I think you're going to really enjoy uh, Michael and, and his knowledge. As always, thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out the video. I hope you guys are doing well, um, enjoying spring, and uh, I'm looking forward to summer. Uh, so long, everybody. This has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. Take care. Bye-bye.